You may know this about me already. I love Opus 88 color row demonstrators. And then Anna Encantadora posted a picture of her Opus 88 colorful demonstrator. And I was like, oh, I think I need that. And the very lovely folks at Pen Chalet sent this over for me. I realize it's the same pen, but they did something that I love. They took my favorite pen, one of my favorite pens, and added colorful flecks and splotches to it. So it basically looks like someone beat up a clown and swirled it into clear resin. And that's what we have here. So they also sent me a bottle of Panider turquoise ink, which is beautiful. And I put it in this barrel. So we're going to look at the pen and I'm going to gush about how much I love this pen because I really love the Opus 88s. These are my doing. So there you go. Really love these pens. And I just want to show it to you and I just want to write with it. And that's pretty much all I want to do with my pens. Just share them with you. So let's go do that. And there is a discount code for a pen chalet. Should you wish to make a purchase? Should you wish to get one of these? It's um, valid for 2021. And so let's go play with the pen. Thank you, pen chalet. Oh man, I love these pens. I'm always super pleased with them. The first thing I do is I take off the clip. So almost all of them, you should be able to unscrew the top. I remove the clip because they just fit into my pouch better and because I'm stuffing like 30 pens in the same pouch it's just easier not having clips so just look how just look how cute it is you're probably either gonna love it or hate it maybe you'll like the colors I hope they do more of these with more different colors and I just think there's fun it's a large pen it's a bit blocky back here but the section is very comfortable and it's quite smooth so there's not much of a step it just feels really good and it does have a it's an eyedropper with a one-way shutoff valve so to open up that valve let your ink flow you just turn the knob and that's it it's really easy and you know what no it does not post I was like hey, I never tried posting because I don't actually really post my pens so that's fine however it's not a poster so if you are a poster it is not a poster super comfortable in hand I just really like it it is a Jovo number no. six nib I selected a broad it has a single slit around breather hole plastic bead the Jovo number no. six nib unit is removable so you could just unscrew it if you really need to get in there or change your nib size or I don't know put in a pilot parallel nib if you want I'll link to that video somewhere so let's write, I was going to write on this side of the page, but let's not do that. Let's do this. Let's write here. Okay. Oh, they also include an eyedropper in your packaging because it is an eyedropper. So that's pretty cool. All right. I love this pen for hand lettering and like just lettering practice because it's comfortable, tons of ink, and it just, I don't know, it just writes really, really well for me. It just feels like it's just right. So we have the Opus 88. Colorful. I mean, look how cute that is. Oh, amazing. And I have the valve open. It is pretty juicy and the ink is Pernider, Pernider, Pernider turquoise. It's like 75 mils for 1750. So you get quite a bit of ink, very beautiful color. And tiny skip there, whatever, no big deal. Other than that, it is quite quite a good nib it's a good girl freeway beautiful um, if you apply pressure you're not going to get line variation you're just going to get a bit of a wetter line 
However, it works really well with lighter inks because you get really nice shading, as you can see here and down here. So really, I really enjoy using this pen for a practice. I'm able to get some really cute round letters. I, I don't know how or why. Maybe it's just the way it sits in my hand. But it is one of my go-tos. The pen is 120 US. You can get 10% off with my discount code, should you wish. Uh, it's not an inexpensive pen, but I just love them. I have them inked all of the time. They are never uninked. All of my Opus 88s are inked all the time. So I feel like I definitely get use out of them and I feel like the value is there for me. I really, really enjoy them. So let's see. Okay, I don't know what I did that there. I was just gonna do an alphabet to show you what I mean by I enjoy using these for hand lettering and just general calligraphy practice. This is not calligraphy, really. It's just round letters. So that's one style I might do, and another one might be a more like random style. So I might like a little messier, I guess. So it's just random stuff. And I think the colorful is really great if you find the clear ones just a little too bland. It just adds a bit of pop, a little bit of fun, a little bit of pizzazz. And um, yeah, they make me happy. I think they're really awesome. And this ink is just gorgeous. A beautiful turquoise. So definitely more of a blue turquoise than a green. Uh, like not at all a teal turquoise. Sometimes turquoises end up being teal. This is definitely turquoise. And that's all. I just wanted to share the pen with you. I think it's a really fun pen. I really love the Opus 88s. I love what they're doing. Um, I love the eyedropper. I end up reusing them like crazy, obviously. And I just have a lot of fun with them. So you've got a lot of ink to play with. They're super easy to clean and really easy to maintain. So I, I just don't have any complaints except that I wish they would make more colors. Thank you, Pen Shelly, for making all of my pen dreams come true. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll check out the opuses. They're just awesome. I'm gonna wrap it up. I am Aziza at Gourmet Pens signing out. Take care. Stay inked.
think responsibly. And we'll see you next time. Bye! I feel like this should be really elegant because it's deep love. <laughs> okay. It's not elegant anymore. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs>